This is my 60 second explanation of what a PCB is and if you already know about them I've got a surprise for you at the end. First, where you've probably already seen a PCB, whether it's exposed like on a motherboard or graphics card or hidden inside an enclosed product like a laptop, smartphone or gaming console. Before PCBs, every electronic component had to be soldered together into a massive tangle mess, basically a giant rat's nest of wires. Not only was it chaotic, but one loose connection could throw the whole thing off. Printed circuit boards were the game-changing solution to that problem. They simplified the entire process of building circuits by neatly organizing and routing components using copper traces. Soldering is still part of the equation, but with PCBs, it's far more efficient and way less of a headache. Newer PCBs normally have at least four layers. The copper layer, which carries electrical signals, the core, which gives the board its strength and insulation, the solder mask, which protects the copper traces and prevents shorts, and the silk screen, which adds printed labels and markings to help with component placement and identification. One of the most important parts of PCBs is the vias, tiny holes that allow electrical signals to pass between the different copper layers of the board, effectively connecting them throughout the stack. And finally, did you know that the yellowish fiber class core inside of PCBs is a material called FR4, and it's an abbreviation for flame retardant type 4. 